What is up disc golfers? Today on Iceberg TV we're going to do the first of a series of unboxings. Uh, we have some really exciting things coming in the near future. My homie Colin in Atlanta sent us this box. Not entirely sure what's in there. It could be a mixture of many different things and I'm really looking forward to seeing what's in here and I actually waited to do this video for you guys so you could appreciate the excitement. I think there's some very collectible and rare and maybe some old discs in here. Um, I don't think this is mostly new stuff. There might be a couple new things in there, but I'm not entirely sure. We're gonna do one. Whoa. Oh wow. We're gonna do one disc at a time. Whew. He put them in a bag. There's so, some really, really, really good stuff in here. So the first disc in here is one of the oldest discs I've ever seen. It's a special edition bar stamp T-Bird. So these actually came out before Champion Edition Plastic and looks like it's probably been bag kept for its entire life. It feels crazy gummy and really good and I'm definitely gonna give this disc a throw and do a full review on it. I think these things were made in like the late 80s, um, early 90s. Give it a feel. Whoa. We'll just we got a couple more bags in here, so we'll just go in order here. Ooh. That is a really nice disc. Next disc right in here is another gem. Oh, I'm accidentally seeing discs. These are actually insane. The next disc in here, 10 time KC Pro T-Bird. So we have a 10 time Pro T-Bird in here, 168 grams. It's got that same super gummy feel to it, and it feels like it's gonna be a really good thrower. Obviously, another very old disc, um, not even a, an 11 time, which you might see sometimes, but this is actually a 10 time. This is another very rare old collectible disc, and it feels absolutely amazing. Wow, do you know what the plastic is called? Uh, it's Just old KC Pro plastic? That's old KC Pro plastic, and it's super gummy and tacky. Wow. All right, so the next disc in here, I knew we were getting, but I didn't um, fully know what it was gonna look like or how it was gonna be. We have a Proline Orc, super old school Proline Orc here. And all these discs are made a long time ago, like late 80s, early 90s. This three, was this was one of the number. fast this is one of the fastest discs of its time. He's saying, you know, pre-flight number. This is way before pre-flight number. This is like 10 to 15 years at least older than pre-flight number. So there's some serious disc golf history here and I can't wait to see these discs fly again, you know, as they were originally intended. Same thing, this really gummy plastic feels very unique compared to other discs. Wow. They feel absolutely fantastic. And uh, my homie Colin, really good friend of mine, uh, one of my best friends, my number one best friend when I was living in Atlanta. He's a real homie, really cool guy. Um, looks like he threw in a Roaming Thunder 2 for us here. So we have Discmania Roaming Thunder 2, really nice swirly one. This one I've been actually enjoying throwing my Roaming Thunder 1. Um, so we'll probably do a comparison video comparing the 1 to the 2 and just reviewing the 2 in general as well. So thank you so much to Colin for hooking us up uh, with this disc as well. Yeah, I just threw your Roaming Thunder today for the first time. So in my mind it flies yeah. somewhere between, so this is the Discmania CD2 is the mold. And it's almost like, um, I would say, like a slightly domey or Thunderbird. Really, really good disc, really straight, and it flies very similar to the Discraft Onyx. And I'm actually thinking that my Roaming Thunder will probably knock my Onyx out of my bag. I've always liked the swirly S-Line plastic as well. It just feels pretty similar to these older plastics. Just yeah. maybe a touch gummier. And the swirly S-Line plastic is usually a little bit more stable than the standard stock S-Line or C-Line. So usually swirly S-Line is a little bit more stable and it has a little bit more of that tacky gumminess to it as well. So, Roaming Thunder, really cool disc, really excited. Um, Colin knows that I love rates, so he hooked us up with a nice, um, just normal, normal run stock Ooh. Wraith. So, we got a nice, um, ooh, I'm seeing the next disc yeah, here. So we have a normal Wraith here. And then we have a very not normal Wraith here. Ooh. Colin hooked us up massively. I am, I'm shocked. 
Uh, you guys are not gonna believe what this is. There's no way you're gonna throw that. There's no you're, way. There's no way Colin truck. sent us this. <laughs> this is insane, actually. Ooh. So what we have here is a CFR Augusta Wraith. So in 2006, the Disc Golf World Championships were in Augusta, Georgia. Colin is from Augusta, Georgia, and this was the first time they ever produced the Wraith was when they made these champion rates. So the Wraith was never a disc until 2006 Worlds. They came out with the Wraith. These are very rare, very sought after, and I'm- And I, you're gonna throw I it. gotta bag it. There's, Discs are made to be thrown. There's only a handful of these that even exist anymore, and he actually, let me see, he actually sent us one. If you find one of these, it's not gonna have any stamp, it's gonna be loaded with ink. This one still has a pretty clean stamp on it, and it has absolutely no ink, so we got, we're gonna ink it right up, put my name on it. Gonna, I can't wait to throw these. We're gonna give all these really cool discs a huge review. This is so exciting, thank you so much. I'm, I'm shocked Colin hooked this up so big. That's crazy. You ready for the next disc? He puts it back in the bag. Oh yeah, all right. just for a minute. This is one that I knew was coming, so we have another Wraith here. This is actually a brand new unthrown Echo Star Wraith with a just a cool Colorado tournament stamp on it from the Snow Mountain Challenge, um, 172 grams. So in Australia, it's very hard to find good Wraiths that you can actually like buy normal stock Wraiths. Like it sounds crazy, but in Australia, the disc market is not that great. So. Uh, Collins hooked it up and he got us out a lot of rates to bag. So that's an Echo Star rate. So it's going to be, um, it's made of recycled discs, old pre flight number rate. What, what's the date on that one? This one is. Uh... I think this one, this one's from like 2005. It's another pre flight, it's a pre flight number Echo Star rate. Another good disc for us to do a review on. It's from uh, Winter Park, Colorado, yeah. which used to live near there. Yeah, so I used to live near there, so I might have to bag this one because I still don't bag a Wraith <laughs> yet. Oh, we'll see about that So this that may one. be my first Wraith. All right, maybe it will be. We'll see. We'll see how you You're go. You're not a Colorado boy. Do you have an 11-speed arm? That's the question. So I got a 14-speed arm according to the Colossus. Ooh. Uh, we have a pre -flight, another pre-flight number Wraith, but this one is in the Star Plastic. It's another PFN Wraith. This one's from 2008. Really cool Yeti stamp on it. Feels absolutely amazing. I uh, can't wait to give these Wraiths a throw. Can't believe Colin sent us out all that stuff. He added in the Roaming Thunder and the Augusta Wraith and the other Wraith. Absolutely insane. Colin is the real of the real homies. He's so good. Thank you so much, Colin. Yeah, I appreciate that, big time. Wow. So of these discs, which one are you most excited to throw first? Whew. Probably this KC Pro T-Bird. Whew, you eyeball the, the 10 time okay. might be the rarest thing here and he goes yeah. right for it. 10 time is absolutely crazy. So they came out with this run after Klima won his 10th. All the T-Birds you find nowadays are the 12 time and you'd be very lucky to find an 11 time, and this one's a 10 time, so that's even crazier. Yeah, number two is, I love this stamp. This stamp oh, is not, awesome. You're over the green one now? I'm over the green one. Like, the stamp on this is sick. It's got a Yeti on there, smashing the chains together. I'm absolutely hyped to throw this uh, special edition T-Bird, and this is actually different from the normal T-Bird. This is a TL, which is a T-Bird Long, which is a little bit of a different mold than your standard T-Bird. So that will give me an excuse to put this one in my bag. And I'm absolutely thrilled with what we have here. These are all, they're all freshly bag kept. And there's gonna be collectors out there who are gonna absolutely hate me for throwing these, but these things were made to be thrown. My number two disc that I'm most excited to throw is gonna have to be somewhere between, I'm tossed up between the Augusta Wraith and the Proline Orc. I can't wait to throw both of these guys. Absolutely amazing. This old plastic just, like if you throw old plastic, you know that it's just, it's just different. Leave in the comment section down below what you think of this unboxing. Uh, we have a lot more exciting discs coming that a lot of really cool people have hooked us up with from different brands, different manufacturers. Um, this was all Innova and Discmania, but the other packages won't be all in Event Disc Mania. We have lots of exciting things coming in the future. 
Um, yeah, we're going to do some reviews on these discs. Let us know in the comment section down below what you want to see first. If you want to become a patron or check out merch, the link is in the description below as well. Is there anything you would like to add? Don't forget your big disc energy shirts. <laughs> Those are on the Teespring store in the link below, along with yes. the, just the normal iceberg stuff for the less cheeky people. That one's for the more cheeky people. And again, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that like button. Thank you for watching. This is Iceberg TV, and take care. Take care.